Okay, this one we're going to do some tails today. Um, so this is Haas, and his tail's looking pretty bushy. One thing I wanted to talk about before we get started on the tail is um, this area right here. There, right above the base of the tail right here. You want to leave some fill in here, and that helps um, so that their rump doesn't come straight down. You want it to go straight into their tail. Um, so I leave this kind of kind of long, it just makes a shelf right into the tail. And then the other thing I wanted to mention um, just on the tail part is that most of the time when we're stripping we're taking out dead hair unless you want to get the length shorter than you are taking out live hair. But um, the hair on the end of the tail is live because it's coming, it's coming straight out and so this hair at the end of the tail is, you know, right here it's about an inch and a, an inch long. Um, and so I do want to shorten his tail up, but you just need to keep that in mind because um, because it is live, it um, makes it more sensitive. So um, what I'm going to use is this tool to do it, and you um, you go around it as if you are sharpening a wooden pencil. Um, and I only take out just a couple hairs at a time because like I said those are live and um, you don't want to cause any discomfort for them and um, the shape of a tail on a Cairn Terrier is a um, carrot um, as in the vegetable and it's inverted with the tip up here and then the fat end of the carrot down there and so um, with that I just took off a little bit of the length you can see now he's more at a half inch right above the very bone of his tail and then what we'll do is just comb out some of this fluffiness he has a wave right here in his tail so it um, kind of makes it poof weird and then you'll just want to go in the shape of a carrot tapering it from this wide end down here up into the tip and you can also um, use a knife to do that a stripping knife and so I'll pull these long hairs out and just pull straight up, tapering out some of that bulk. I do like a nice fat tail on your Karen, though. Um, and then this part comes down around to the back, there at the base. One thing with the tail hair to know is that this part grows more rapidly than this top part. So um, that means that when I just am doing cleanup work, not necessarily shaping the tail, but just doing cleanup work, you need to look at this underside and um, groom that up a little bit shorter. And if you were pulling and not using a knife, you just feather it out and take a few of those long hairs and feather this side out take a few of those long hairs we have the neighbor moving around uh, um, on the other side so they're wanting to keep watch on her So um, we worked a little bit on Pan's tail the other day, and um, you can see the shape of it isn't too bad. It's a little bushy right in here, so that's what I'm going to deal with today, is just taking a little bit of those out. So I pull this straight back out, kind of feather it so you can see the long ones, and then we'll just pull those longest ones, and that will take out the thickness. And we'll taper it into um, into this point up here. And also on this side, you can see I have a long, a lot of long hairs coming right out there, and that's where it's poofy at. You don't want to get it too skinny though, because that's the uh, then you'd have the stove pipe shape, and that's the shape that the Westie is. Trying to 
keep my hands out of the view. And also on his, um, even there's the very tip of it. It is pretty short, but I want to take it a little bit shorter. Um, and so that's when you get into those live hairs and he starts to wiggle a bit. But um, he doesn't have too much length on there, so we just have to put up with it for a second. Okay, good boy. And then once he stops wiggling, that's when I give him the treat. After he's being a good boy. Um, I don't want to reinforce the wiggling, so I just, you know, try to calm him down through it and um, and then treat once they stop doing that. Okay, so it's still looking a little bit thick right here. It might, might also be the different colors drawing my eye because um, he has this where it's looking really thick to me is actually where it's white, where it has the lighter color going through. So that might be drawing my eye. And we did just do his rump yesterday, so he's still got a pretty nice shape looking on his backside here. Good boy. Okay, now I switched out for Munch, and um, you can see that where I was talking about the length hitting this um, divot in their leg, because she's light back here, and so it sort of shows up a little bit more. Um, but that's what you're looking for in the length in this on their bottom, where it hits just into that backside or of that curve of the knee. And um, the shape of her tail is pretty awkward looking right now. For some reason, it's long on this side, so um, and shorter on this other side. So I must have went gung ho on one side as opposed to the other. So um, I just comb that out, pull out these long ones to taper it in. You'll also sort of roll it up to the top. So as you work the hair, you're pulling it up towards the top side. And that will help with the tapering. And then again, this back side is where it does um, tend to get longer, or this underside of the tail. So you just feather it out. And then we will take a little bit off of her tip also, and she has a little black tip on her tail, so um, you can see it a little bit better. And you just work around it as, as if you're sharpening a pencil. Um, you do want to be careful though not to um, come in contact with the tip of their tail with a, a stripping knife or another grooming tool. So a lot of times I'll hold my finger right there at the tip and then just pull around it. So my finger is protecting the bone. Good girl. And then once I have the long hairs out, I like to do an all over with the stripping knife. Um, it just helps to blend it all in a little bit better. Can you put your tail up? She doesn't want to put her tail up. But there you have the shape of it. Okay, so with Rowan, her really straight hair um, it makes her tail look a little bit um, thinner than the wave and stuff that um, Haas and Ivy have. So because of that, I'm pretty careful about not taking too much out of her tail at one time. She also, um, since she's not quite three yet, her coat is young, so she doesn't have as much undercoat as she'll have as an adult. And once she gets more undercoat, that tail will bush out a little bit better. Um, she also has a little bit of a bend right here in her tail, and so um, in order to keep the illusion of a straighter tail, keeping it short 
This is really the best bet. Short and length this way at the tip, and then also um, in regard to the the actual hair itself. Because the shorter something is, the more plump it looks. So I like to take the tip down pretty short on her. There's her tip right there, so it's just it's not even a half an inch. Good girl. In there, just with doing that little bit, it looks a little bit, um, a little bit plumper and rounder.